welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about getting some movement into your day and why that is really important to your body. So for those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Sam Brown and I'm a BANT registered nutritionist here in the UK. And on my channel, I'm typically talking about anything to do with nutrition, science-backed information on nutrition and lifestyle. So if this is your thing, please hit that like and subscribe. Now I do apologize, this is very shaky. I've hit quite a, an uneven part of the ground, but I shall try my best. I think I need a gimbal. Movement. So getting some movement into your day really helps you hit your health and wellness goals. So as you can see, it is a really beautiful day here and I am on my usual morning walk. So walking in the morning and especially fasted as I am, helps tap into those fat burning mechanisms. And it also helps us to increase something called our mitochondria. So we know our mitochondria as the little powerhouses in our cells that make our energy currency for the body to use. These have to be healthy to provide us with that energy that we use during the day. So walking fasted really does help to break down old mitochondria, it helps the body to um, get rid of those un... <sighs> Hang fire a second, I just need to put the poo bag in the bin. Oh, the glory, the glory of having a dog. Nice. Okay, let's get back to mitochondria. It's not so easy filming outside. Um, walking fasted. So when we're walking fasted, the body helps to break down those mitochondria during the fast, break down all the bits that aren't working. It helps make new mitochondria. And when we do that fasted, we are then also tapping into what we call our fat burning mechanisms. So I have now not eaten for well over 12 hours. And so my glucose stores from the carbohydrates have been used. And now my body is forced to tap into any excess fat and there's plenty of it, even in the slimmest and healthiest people to keep us going. It's forced to tap into that and use it as energy. The body, when it's fasted as well, also, as I say, breaks down any cells that aren't working properly, components that aren't working properly. So using a fast and using a walk, just a steady walk, it doesn't have to be anything that is uh, too crazy, but you know, keep a pace where you can hold a conversation and stay in that fat burning zone. You don't have to go into cardio, not for this one anyway. So how does this improve our health and wellness goals? Well, obviously by tapping into those fat burning mechanisms, if you do have some weight to lose, you are going to start tapping into this weight and using it as energy, which can only be a good thing. But not only that, it really helps to get us going in the morning. Sometimes we wake up, we are lethargic, um, fatigued, don't really want to do anything, our mental health isn't great. So if you can get out in the morning and into, especially while it's nice weather, get out into the beautiful countryside or even just your local park like I'm in, um, it really can help your day and help you to be more creative. It helps you to sit at that computer uh, and be more productive during the day. Uh, the, the effects are long reaching. Now also let's talk about immunity. Sorry, I just hit the camera. So let's talk about immunity. At this moment in time, immunity is a real big topic. You know, any picking up any kind of pathogens, any kind of illnesses, viruses, bacteria, we really want to be the healthiest that we can be to be able to fight them off. Having our mitochondria nice and healthy, and by the way guys, if you haven't caught up on my other video on mitochondria, then please do so here, where I explain a little bit more about what it is and what it does and where it is. Um, but we use the mitochondria a lot if we get sick. The processes that the, the body goes through to clear out debris, to fight off pathogens, for the immune system to kick up, for antibodies to be produced, it really is quite taxing. And so if you have healthy mitochondria and you are able to, you are metabolically fit, 
So we know that those people who have uh, metabolic syndrome at this moment in time really do struggle with this particular pathogen that's around at this moment. Um, we are unable to switch between glucose and fat and that makes it really difficult to, for the body to perform at its best. So having a walk fasted or even just making sure that you get movement in your day um, really does help that mitochondria, really does help the immune system get going. Anything that lifts depression, lifts the mood, makes you happier, again helps you fight any kind of bugs. Sorry, just had to put my dog on the lead so she doesn't run off, now we're hitting uh, the normal pavement. So if you are in an office or you have to be in work early, because obviously I am really, really blessed to be able to walk in the morning because I'm working from home, like a lot of us are at this moment in time. And that's another good point to, uh, to say that as life has changed and we are all sitting at desks, even like me, my job has completely changed and I am very much um, doing a lot more desk work. My clients are online. Everything at this moment in time is sitting at home. And I did notice a massive difference in my fitness levels and also in my ability to control my weight. Now, even as um, a, a slim, healthy person, changes, little changes like that where you're not quite as active during the day. Simba, wait. Even little uh, changes like that during the day make a massive difference to your health and wellness goals. And so I started noticing a difference, which has kind of prompted me to do this video. But if you are on a commute and you don't have time to kind of go for a little walk first or do a small workout before you um, start your day at work, try and get that walk into your commute. Try to get off the train. Oh dear, sorry. Try and get off the train a little bit earlier. Um, if you can, during your break, try to um, just go around the local park on lunchtime or something like that. It really will start to add up, but you do have to put in a conscious effort to get these steps up. We know that 10,000 steps for a person who is of a good healthy weight, who possibly works out, does some sport or something like that, 10,000 steps helps you maintain that health. For anybody that has some health and wellness goals, maybe that is a weight loss, you have to push for 15,000 steps. That takes effort. So I've just walked around a very large field and it roughly, from home around the field, it roughly takes me about three and a half thousand steps. That's nowhere near 15,000. And I'm now going to go back, I'll have a coffee, I'll do a workout, but I still even struggle if I'm very sedentary, if I'm very sat behind that computer to hit those 10,000 steps. So pushing for 15,000, you are going to have to make a concerted effort. But if you can, it is well worth the effort and it will really help uh, you reach those health and wellness goals. It will help you lose an extra pound or two. It will help that mitochondria produce uh, new ones, uh, get rid of all the old bits that we've just uh, spoken about. So if you've enjoyed the information in this very shaky morning video, please hit that like and subscribe and I shall see you next week. Bye.